how to use watch list on Webull app. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a tutorial on Webull app and how we can use watch list on our application. So let's get started. First, what you guys have to do is you just need to download the Webull application on your mobile phone. You can download it on Android or on Apple. So once you have the application, you're just going to open it up. And here we have our Webull and it is our trading platform where we can find any kind of stocks and everything. So Vivo is really famous and it has a really good application. I'll show you how to use the watch list. So once you are here on your Vivo, it will actually show you your watch list. And let's say that you do not have anything right here. You can see I already have three of my, you know, different stocks available. I have Amazon, Meta and Microsoft, but you will have nothing. So in order to actually add different, you know, stocks first, you will just have to click on add symbol option given here. So I'm just going to click on add symbol and it will take you right here where we can search for uh, different stocks that are available. For example, we have Tesla right here. So I'm just going to open it up for now and you will see this uh, like option right here to make it favorite to add it to the watch list at the top right corner and you just have to click on it and it will say add it to the portfolio list. So let's add few more. Let's go with Google and I'm going to do that again and maybe Apple. Perfect. If I want to search for a specific, uh, you know, stock, then I can just search for it. Let's say that I want to search for Disney. So I'm just going to search for this and let's see if we can find it. There it is. Disney and I can just, you know, add it to my favorite. So I can just like add it. Now we have different socks. I'm going to go back to my portfolio. So this is our main screen. This is my watch list. You can see and I have all of these different, you know, stocks available. So we have this, we have Apple, Google, Tesla, Amazon, Meta. These are the ones that I want you to go for. So this is my watch list now. I'll show you how to use it. First of all, if you want to add it to your watch list, you will get the option right here. You can see edit watch list. Click on edit and it will allow you to delete any of the different stocks that you have already added. And you could just click on delete. We can also upload them or edit their name. So I can just click on this edit option and change the name myself. For now, I'm not going to delete any and go back. So this is where we are. Now, let me show you how we open it up. Let's go ahead and open maybe Meta. So you just click on it and it will open it up for you. And this is our, you know, main details. Everything will be given here. Vibble is actually pretty impressive uh, with its different features and tools that we get. So right here, I have opened it up. Now it shows me its value. Then we have high, low volume given pre-market then we have a chart that will show me uh, what's happening throughout the day i can select the time as well so you can see it's one day but i can get a one month view like a monthly view a yearly view about this and it will give me an idea that when it was high and when it's low and we can like move it as well to kind of like get a better idea and we can zoom in or zoom out as well so this is like a really impressive thing about using an application because we can like get more details uh, as we compare it to using on pc or windows so here we have the chart and in chart we have options news analysis and company so if i click on options it will take me to the option chain and i'll be able to see the volume stats and then i can see the probability analysis everything and i can just move them to get more and more information and i can scroll down to get all of these different this is a yearly view you can see the volume statics and chain option chains given here then we have news this is where i will be getting like the latest news about the stocks that i have selected or any kind of etfs that i'm going for then we have analysis right here. So this will give me my analysis that if I should buy it or not, like how many percentage it is. And this is going to be the information that refers only and does not constitute any investment recommendation. So that brings us to the disclaimer as well. I just want to clarify that this video is not a financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. Trading in stocks and buying and selling stock involves a high degree of risk or whether you afford to lose money or not. So make sure that you truly understand everything 
and then you can get started. I'm just giving you a tutorial on the platform Webull and how we can use it. That being said, let's continue. So here we have all of the analysis and then we have the company. Now this is where I will be getting the information about the company that I've selected. I've selected Meta, right? So it will show me the EPS, then we have key indicators where I will be able to see different assets and different, you know, tokens, everything. Then we have income statement given here. Then we have balance sheet, peer comparison. Now this is where I can compare it to the different companies as well and different online services. Now it depends on what kind of company I have selected. So I have selected Meta right now. So that is why I'm getting, you know, the same comparison. So let's go back to the chart. And in chart, uh, we saw that we have like a first chart right here, like a graph. Moving on, we have order book. So this is the order book right here where I will be able to see the shares, the bids, the asks, everything and the percentage. Keep in mind the, the green is going to be positive and the red is going to be negative. Again, uh, we have market by order and you will be able to see the shares, the bid, the ask and shares again. Then we have auction crossing oil and then we have time and sales so this is also very important and you will get the information here then we have order flow distribution in the form of a pie chart where i will be getting all of these different percentages and you will see that it's in usd then we have large scale orders in last five days again we are seeing that when it was positive when it was negative what's the large scale orders in last five days and this is the like out of five days only two days were good like the start and the end of the week and then like in between it kind of like went to the negative then we have cost distribution estimates and then we have short interest short interest again and then we have settlements where i can see my short interest in days to cover as well so this is how you use any of the different uh, you know assets that you have selected and i can just now go back and this is my watch list again so i am seeing the prices right now the live prices and i can also see the uh, percentage if it's positive or if it's negative everything is shown here and I, now i can select another one as well it's going to be same so let's go with tesla maybe a lot of people go with tesla so again we're getting our you know graph right here it's a yearly graph let's go with the daily graph so i can see you can see it's it has been like half day yet so that is why i am seeing this um like kind of like a half and then we have this it will high then it's going a little low in the order book and now i can just like scroll down to get all the information i need so this is how it works you can like now open it up any of the watch list watch list helps us keep track of all of the different assets and stocks that we want to invest in and it is a very easiest way instead of going to the market every time and searching for something searching for different you know etfs and stocks everything what i can do is i can just add them to my favorites and they will be shown in my watch list and i can just quickly get to the ones that are important to me and the ones that i want to check so that is the main reason we create this watch list on vivo and vivo allows us to add different asset stocks right here and you can add unlimited stocks again just click on add symbol and it will take you right here and you just have to select the one you want to go for maybe we can just go with maybe this one into corp and i just want to uh, like you know you will just make it your favorite and go back and it will be added to your watch list so you can see we have all of these and i can get a like you know graph uh, right here then i can edit them out as well we can also you know auto rotate our phone to get a better view of everything other than that the webull application has markets news and menu right here where you will be able to get more and more information into it and you will get all of the different features and tools using webull is really easy and now you know how to use the webull watch list it has all the right features and tools you need very easy to use if you do not have an account on webull well you can create one with your simple email address or your phone number and then you will have a webull account and you can use it for your investment you can use it for your stocks everything you want and it will allow you to actually do trading very easily to actually do investment so go ahead and download the webull application and get started and create your own watch list to keep track of everything and invest so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to the youtube channel